Whether you are filming a four-year-old's birthday party, a documentary on the African savanna, or a powerful action movie, all the principles remain the same. You grab your camera, toss in a tape, and hit the record button, right? Tape is cheap, and if we film enough, we have to get some good stuff. Don't we? How many times do we hear, Quick George, grab the video camera, the kids are in the pool. Or, Get your camera George, let's go and make a movie at the beach. Now, go put your camera away, and I'll tell you the first secret. Secret number one. You have to have a story. Huh? But it's just a kid's party or some beach action. There's no story there at all. Trust me, if there's no story, then people are just not going to watch it. And you do want to shake off the home movie maker label, don't you? Every video you shoot from now onwards must have a story. No excuses and no exceptions. A professionally produced video, yes, every one has a story. That is, it has a beginning, a middle, and an end. So, how can something as simple as a beach trip have a story? Just think like a storyteller and remember to make sure that you have the three essentials. 1. The beginning. Shoot the kids putting their buckets and spades into the car and the car driving off, followed by a location shot of the beach and the kids running down to the water. The middle. Shoot the kids in the water, mother relaxing on the sand and the lunchtime barbecue. The end. Shoot the exhausted kids getting back into the car and the car driving away. Does this sound corny? Maybe it does. But you have just used the first secret and created a video with a story that begins and ends. And that's what the audience expect. Because anything else will disappoint them. Let me give you an example. If you and I sat down and I proceeded to say to you, beach, cars, water, kids, horizon, sun, tanning lotion, you would think I was totally crazy, wouldn't you? That's because when we relate to each other, we use coherent sequential sentences. And you would understand a lot better if I said, today we went to South Beach and it was a beautiful day. The kids had a great time in the water, and we only left the beach at 5 p.m. totally exhausted. You understand me because I am relating the story of my day to you. And because I make sense, you will listen to me. Yet, we take our cameras to the beach and just film totally unrelated bits of footage and expect others to not only enjoy it, but also make sense of it. It's also critically important to make sure that you do have a beginning and an end. How would you feel if I started telling you a joke? This guy goes into a bar and is sitting at the bar and this fantastic looking blonde calls over to him. If I stop at the stage and just walk away, you are going to be pretty annoyed, aren't you? Because you really wanted to hear what happened in the bar. No matter what, make sure you use the secret in each and every video you ever make from now on. And make sure it has a beginning, a middle and an end. So your audience is always satisfied. You have one other little task that you must always pay attention to in any video production. And that is, it must either entertain or educate your viewer, or both. By entertain, I don't mean that it has to be a comedy, so they are clutching their bellies in laughter, 
but simply that the footage must invoke an emotion. It can be any emotion, beauty, sorrow, happiness, joy, fear, horror or dismay. If your video can stir any sort of emotion in your audience, then you have succeeded because you have communicated with them through your video production. Yes, even the kids screaming with delight in the water will evoke an emotion and you will be assured that you have the viewer's attention. When the desire or necessity to make a movie arrives, remember to put away the camera, get out your pen and paper and roughly decide on what your storyline is going to be and what shots you will need. If it's a simple example as I have shown, you can probably remember it in your head, but a multi-location action movie will need some idea of the shots you are going to use. Then go out and shoot it.